I'm Katherine Schock, artist, visionary, and spiritually led. In the arts, I'm always finding the new and the amazing and surprising. As I share the adventure of it all, prepare to get shocked. Hi, this is Jennifer Hemp, and she is an artist. She's a cartoonist, and uh, I just love her work. And Jennifer brought some of her work today that she's going to share, and we're going to talk about it and just going to understand a little bit more her heart so that she can share what the Lord has given to her. Certainly, it's my work is mostly digital. Right here on my iPad is where I do most of my sketching, sometimes finishing work. Look at the colors, it's so amazing. The beauty, beautiful rainbow colors, and it just brings life to the characters. I found that I'm more willing to be bold with shapes and colors. I'm working digitally, knowing that it can be immediately erased. There's none of that permanence that really had me feeling sheepish about coloring on oh, actual okay. paper. So isn't that, is that difficult to work through the technology to Not create pieces? Not too bad. I mean, at the moment, there's all kinds of styluses that replicate like actual pen feeling. So it does usually feel like I'm actually drawing on paper. Just Wow. Interesting, because I'm not really technologically very good, but it's it's uh, fun and enjoyable to see what somebody can actually create. Mm -hmm. Is there a favorite character that you have in mind that you like to create? Not often. I mean, most of the time, it's, they're always different, just whichever is suiting for the moment. Okay. Wow. Look at that. The danger. Right. And do you want to talk about this piece a little? Sure. It's part of a series where there's something going on in real life. Look at the ordinary. On that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just love it. Right. It's something everyday ordinary, and then it just goes into this kind of parallel world where it's imagined and it's still the same place, though. Where's, where's, where's this in the imaginary world? Do you have like a particular name for it? Nope, this is just somewhere on a rainy day and it's reflected there. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you have models that you use or how do you, how do you actually create? Oh, I really movement. don't have models. It's I'll look at references sometimes like this. I looked up alligators to see kind of their general snooch out. Okay. Shape. And then you just get a feel for it. Okay. That's part of the thing about illustration is it could be kind of unrealistic where they're turning in ways that they normally couldn't. And you have a lot of fun, I can tell. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that's really awesome. awesome. How, how do people find your work? You can go to my website, it's jennyhamp.com. Awesome. Thank you so much today, Jenny, for coming. It was a At pleasure, thanks for coming. Greek, Greek garden today, so. Hi, my name is Kathy Schock, and I am in Finley, Ohio, with a local artist named Jennifer Souders, and I would like to introduce you to her with her artwork that she brought today. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. <clears throat> it's such a beautiful day today, mm -hmm. and I am so thankful to God for you to come and just, you're going to share what's on your heart. Mm -hmm. So what is on your heart today so that you can explain yeah um this piece that i did over here uh was one of the first christian pieces that i was ever kind of led to do and it it's it's funny because i you know everything just kind of came together very quickly and uh and it says if you look at it it says uh, look and you will see see and you will hear hear and you will speak and know him and uh just a lot of references to not look with your eyes. The eyes are shut up there. The eyes are taken out down here, but it's more of a spiritual look. And that's so important when you're walking with the love of God mm -hmm. is we walk by faith and not by sight, right. but the word of God comes by hearing the word of God. The faith comes mm -hmm. by hearing the word of God. So yeah. is there, um, 
what was the particular scripture or what was going on inside of you when you were thinking of doing well, this when you first came up with the idea? It, just the whole idea of ask and you know he's there at the door knocking and so um, it just kind of a springboard from that. Okay, oh, could you just describe Jennifer how you started out with this piece? Yeah, it was kind of a progression. Uh, I actually started with the, the bottom piece and it was actually where I found this piece of canvas uh, it was used for boating or something. And uh, apparently they had tried to repair where the holes were. I'm not sure if it was a repair or maybe those holes were intentional for some reason. But I held it up and I was like, wow, you know, you, you can't help it. I held it up and I actually put it to my face. I was like, oh, I like eyes. And well, that's, that's where interesting. it all started from. <laughs> and then just from there, it's just kind of like uh, just inspired about you know, starting with the eyes and then it just went from, I started, that one was second. And uh, by that time I already had the, the knock you will, or you know, look we will see, see and you will hear. And then I, I knew that it just had to go from there, so. That's really interesting. God can really take something that people might want to throw away and <laughs> actually bring life to it. Yeah. So that's awesome. I like the fact that the one lady is looking up and mm -hmm. a lot of times when we are wanting help, we can look up or we can put our head down <laughs> and think that there's no hope. So to some degree, there's actually hope in this piece as far mm -hmm. as your theme goes. Mm -hmm. I like how you've blended in her hair with her shoulder and just that same theme about the speaking and the hearing. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I, I think it started out as like one piece and then I, I started putting other pieces together. It's like after I did the one and then I realized, hey, I have something else and then I just, it, it's really weird how it came about. And God just kind of grew that love and that truth about mm -hmm. seeing and hearing. Yeah. It's a good principle to increase our faith. Mm -hmm. And then you have another piece over here mm -hmm. with hands and a foot uh -huh. and a piece of wood. Yes. Um, yeah, if you maybe wouldn't catch on, uh, the, the title might help a little. It's called Reception of the King. And it's actually a modern day interpretation of the crucifixion scene. It's interesting to really feel the pressure of that shoe coming down on that hand. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people feel that they are in a situation where they can't get out. Mm -hmm. And of course, with the hands holding on to the wood, mm -hmm. it reminds you of the cross yeah. and what he did for us. Yes. I like the three-dimensional, too, with the shoestrings. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Do you have any other thoughts that you would like to share with people when they uh, uh, look at this piece? Yeah. Um, this piece has had quite an amazing journey. Um, There's actually a call for a show, and the theme was called Underground. And I thought, oh, how perfect. And so I entered the piece in the show, and uh, when I went to drop it off, there was a really, I can say satanic, because there were satanic markers in the piece. Right next to it is this really dark tree. And my husband made this comment of, oh my gosh, I wouldn't be surprised by morning if that satanic piece falls off onto the floor by the time, you know, with, with your piece of what it means next to it. And so the next day comes, comes around and I get a call from the gallery and they said, you're gonna have to come get your piece. Uh, the gallery is going to close. They didn't even really get to have the show. Wow. And, and I just thought, wow, what's going on here? 
Um, and it, another thing that happened with this piece is, you know, because um, Revelations 20 to 11 is, has always been really impressed upon me uh, with my art is, you know, that, that's where it's like, let the wicked be wicked still, uh, let the righteous be righteous, you know. But just the idea of you have a choice and how you can view this. You can view it for light, you can view it for dark. And so this and we're was, given that choice. Yes, in we're given that choice. To choose life. And so I, I had uh, uh, a homosexual couple who had money in hand. They were ready to buy it. And then they asked about the piece. Well, what does this mean? They were all excited because, oh, it, it reminds us of Frank Lloyd Wright, you know, that cantilevered thing. And uh, when I told them <laughs> of what its meaning was, boom, they were gone. So, you know, it, it's kind of hard, <laughs> you know, but uh, it became a stumbling stone for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and um, the Lord definitely gives us the way, or he suggests to us, and he encourages us to be strong and to believe and to walk in his ways. And the couple, I'm sure, will not forget this experience because mm -hmm. it's, um, it's a truth that can be expressed in the art. And I think it's interesting that as an artist, I'm sure that you have, um, realized or it, it actually you you experienced a shift in the atmosphere that happened with this piece and not that you are to worship this piece <laughs> but it's an expression of God's heart uniquely mm -hmm. that he used you to get this truth out that he has already provided the way mm -hmm. and have given hope to us as believers mm -hmm. so yeah. um, it's interesting, what, what kind of medium did you use too? Um, it's um, charcoal and then there's, I use rabbit skin glue, so I'm able to also incorporate the oil paint. Uh, I do it on a panel and I do the canvas over top of it, so. Okay, yeah, yeah that's great. Well, if people were to um, contact you or get in touch with you about your artwork and just to really hear your heart as God gives you other themes to unfold what is what is your website how did they get in touch with you uh, parabletheater.com okay I can also be found uh, I have an art page up on Facebook okay yeah Facebook Facebook is really good it's <laughs> a lot of people use it yeah I just appreciate your time so much today and we appreciate every person who will be um, having more artists that they're out there and that they have different things that God will use in their style and in their life and help people to change and bring hope to the world. Well, I want to thank you so much for your time today, uh, coming here to the Greek Garden. And we want to thank Greek Garden as well. Mm -hmm. And enjoy the day. Thanks. This is Silvio Jimenez, and he has brought a piece of artwork at the Greek Garden today, and he's going to talk a little bit about his inspiration for this piece. Yeah, it started when the, when the, the name of the painting, it was the, the color of purity is the name of this piece. I, I really want to, I was painting, used colors uh, around, playing around with colors, um, yeah, I put in my heart to this kind of like a garden in the background. You can see several colors, primary colors. And then it's from nothing, I think the Holy Spirit put in my heart to put two butterflies just to emphasize what is the real the theme of the, uh, the purity. And then I put the two white butterflies uh, and the garden in the background. You see 
It's a lot of dots, kind of like the sky. Yeah, it's like pointillism flowers. too. Exactly. That technique. Even there's not my style that come in that way. I never try to follow through any. It's almost like the light is dancing through the colors and exactly. the brushstrokes. Yeah, it's moving all around. But I come to the focus of this piece is these two white butterflies. There, we know the color of purity is white, and they represent the, the purity. Uh, it's be always white, and it's when white pink butterfly, and the, the other one have blue dots butterfly. One is female, and the other one is male, and that's the the purity the the, the what God has made. Yeah. And of course, several colors in the in the background is a beautiful the God's creation. I think this is extension to our to the way we can express. This creation to our mind, to our heart, and awaken people see it. Um, and when you were saying this, every single piece of art, when I painting, I pray for my pieces, and they not be able to touch some people, as to make maybe maybe may a contact point just through the eyes, and the, the conviction of the Holy Spirit be when people. That's where really. Uh, I enjoy what I do. Yeah. I like the basic too. It's the basic colors that we are very familiar with, and the colors also remind me of the promises that God has shared with us. Yeah. And as we are able to receive His promises in His love and truth through His Spirit, it's a beautiful, delicate, balanced um, piece that has variety and gentleness to it. Great. Well, thank you, Silvio, so much for sharing. It's a real privilege. Thanks so much. Finley is my home, my kind of creative people. God has blessed me to have a community with His vision. It is such a blessing to embark on this journey to find more beauty, more joy through my art. I think I may be just a little shocked myself at what lies ahead.